Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to discuss about the assignment. There are three assignments for this class. <clears throat> uh, before I explain about the assignment, let me explain about uh, <clears throat> the syllabus a little bit and also the components you have to fulfill in this subject. Okay, so the subject is e-commerce BPME 3033. So I, I have clearly explained about this subject, the first class. So I hope all of you understand what we are going to do in this class. Uh, okay, first of all, uh, so you are going to use this book as a main reference, Loudon, okay. And also the second reference, uh, Turban, it's a supplementary uh, reference for you, but some of the chapters based on the Turban, but majority of the chapters from Loudon. Okay? Do not worry, you can get access of this book, even there are uh, some ebooks available, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, okay so there are uh, 14 chapters. All of for this subject uh, this subject so I'm not going to tell one by one things I have, I have explained to you in the first class okay, okay anyway so <clears throat> let me repeat again uh, when you refer to the textbook uh, this one with the one asterisk you have to refer to first reference okay this one okay when I indicate with the two asterisk such as chapter uh, 5 so you have to look at that chapter 5 in the second textbook okay and some chapters are combination of two chapters okay chapter 2 and chapter 3 for example easy mechanism infrastructure and tool so if you look at the textbook uh, this is syllabus syllabus might be slightly different compared to the textbook we are using but contents are similar okay so chapter 2 and chapter 3 are combination of chapter 3 in the syllabus okay so you have to check all of this column okay do not blindly refer to the textbook based on the oh chapter 3 mean so i have to refer to the chap uh, textbook chapter 3 no so what you have to do is you have to refer to chapter 2 and chapter 3 for the chapter 3 this one okay and also uh, this one okay again I explain again okay chapter 5 this one you can't get this chapter in the first or main reference which is from Loudon so you have to look at the third one, the second supplementary one okay you have to look at the chapter 5 same go to this one okay chapter 7 7.3 to 7.4 so for this one, only refer to chapters, uh, chapter 7, 7.3 until 7.4 only, not much. Okay, same goes to here. Okay. So you have to look at this one. Okay. Uh, simply say, you are not going to use entire textbook for this uh, subject. Some, uh, some sub chapters are not going to be referred for this subject. So there are 14 chapters okay so as i mentioned earlier in the class uh, our class is going to be traditional lecture so and also online lecture practical student-centered learning project web tool okay web tool base okay so uh, there is no big deal only four components for this subject 50 50 50 percent is a carry and another 50% is a final exam. So group project, 20%. Individual assignment, 20%. Presentation, 10%. Okay. So you have to uh, present your group project, this one. Group project. And individual assignment, there is no presentation, just a report. Let us see what is your group project first. Okay. Your group project is very clear. It's about B2B electronic marketplace. Okay. 
So what you have to do is, okay, first the objective is this pro the project assignment is compulsory part of the cost and will contribute 20% of the final cost. Therefore, it will require considerable effort in time, input and critical thinking from each student. It means each and every one of you should contribute to your, uh, sorry, uh, for your assignment. Do not be a, just a rider. Okay. So what you have to do is students are required to form a group. Okay, form a group. Eh? Okay, sorry. Form a group. Uh, four to five members to start a So you are required to form a group, four to five members only. Do not more than that. But in certain cases, maybe you are uh, forced to have more than five members. But you must get permission from me to add more than one. I mean more than five members. Okay. So you have to form a group first. That is most important thing. Okay. Then you have to start a new business. By using a model, business model, using one of the biggest internet platforms such as Alibaba.com, Tencent and so on. So Alibaba.com, Tencent, you know, Amazon business and so on are so-called B2B e-commerce platform. Okay. So you are not required to sell anything in real, okay, in real, in this platform. But you have to prepare a, like a business plan. So it means you have to consider yourself as a manufacturer or reseller or you know uh, distributor of the product. Okay, but you have to sell your product not to the individual consumer. You must assume that you are a uh, manufacturer or reseller and so on. Okay, then you have to deliver your product to the business. That's why you know you are using B two B e commerce platform. B two B. Okay. Using all the information you have gathered above, every group is required to develop a market analysis. So, you have to identify the product, okay, what you want to sell. You are not required to produce a new product or you have to manufacture the totally, uh, you know, never exist product. No. Maybe you can get a product, okay, from OEM. OEM means Original Equipment Manufacturer and you can rebrand it by using your own name. So, you can consider... That product is your product, your company product. Okay. This will help the company to understand the need existing. Okay. So first is market analysis. Eh? That is the most important part for that. Okay. So you have to do so-called market analysis. Okay. Specifically market analysis, but it looks like a, you know a business plan, but it's not a purely business plan. It's a marketing plan. Okay. So you have to include all of this for your product. So first you have to choose one product and you have to come out with one company profile it means your own company so you have to explain about your company about your company and product what product so again that product can be a small product or complicated product or any product that you want to uh, buy from oem and you want to put your own brand also no problem okay industry description and outlook uh, you have to explain about the industry. Okay, for example, if let's say uh, you want to uh, sell a tissue paper, you want to be a, a manufacturer of the tissue paper, okay, or reseller of the tissue paper. So you have to explain about the industry. What what industry? Paper industry, paper and pulp. I think paper and pulp industry. So you have to explain about the industry. Okay, and market needs. Uh, market needs. I think you have taken the subject marketing. Sub, I mean marketing principle of marketing so you know what this market needs market needs mean is it really needed in the marketing and you have to do some analysis you have to do some research okay uh, and unique selling proposition unique selling proposition mean what does make consumer or sorry not consumer actually customer another business okay another business is your customer so what does make your consumers or customers okay buy your product it can be your product itself or you can be a, your service sometimes you know your service can be a unique selling proposition okay what is service for example dell dell is selling same computer like other computer manufacturers but 
people prefer to buy Dell because of the service. Because you can buy Dell computer through online. You can customize the computer according to your preferences. So that is unique selling proposition. So unique selling proposition not only in the product uniqueness. It can be in the after sales service uniqueness and so on. Okay. And you have to explain about competitive analysis. Uh, this is about competition in the market. Okay. You can do uh, like a, who is your competitor? What are the competitors product? Uh, you have to analyze. Okay. Uh, you just Google and see. There are so many type of competitive analysis. Okay. <clears throat> and who is your target market and market segmentation? Of course, target market, even though you, you, you are consider yourself as a manufacturer or reseller, your target market is still a consumer, end user. So who is your end user? So you, what, what is your target market for that particular product? And you have to explain about the market segmentation. Who, is go, who are going to uh, buy your product? Okay, Pricing and positioning strategy. Uh, this one, uh, how you want to determine the price. Okay. Promotion strategy. Uh, you have to explain about the promotion strategy. So you have to explain two strategies. One is a traditional strategy. Another one is an online marketing strategies. Okay. For example, social commerce, mobile commerce, app commerce, whatever is it that you are learning in this subject. So you have to explain in your assignment how you want to promote. Okay. And demographic and segmentation. Actually, demographic and segmentation is uh, this one related to the market segmentation as well. Okay, but this is more specific. Okay, more specific. Demographic and segmentation. Okay. And competition. Okay, this one still related to the competitive analysis. Okay, this is overall competition. You can uh, analyze and also you can include competition, which is specifically you can tell about the your competitors. Your future competitors, your direct competitor, your indirect competitors, everything. Okay. Then followed by barriers to entry. Okay, you want to start a new business right now. What are the barriers to entry? Okay, you can refer to the Porter Five Forces model. Okay, so this is basically a market analysis for your business. Okay, and any other related content or subtopic that you think you can include for this assignment, you may include. Please feel free to include. There is no restriction of the additional of the topic. But you have to make sure all of these topics are included. For example, competition and competitive analysis, you can combine. No problem. Like a demographic and segmentation, you can combine with this one. Okay. So basically, you have to do market analysis. Okay. So this is just a uh, you know, uh, requirement. Okay. The assignment should be written in English, okay, maximum 20 pages, not more than that, okay. If you want to write more than 20 pages, no problem, okay, but do not more than 30 pages, okay. And margin, uh, 1.5, please follow this one. Aerial size, 12, 1 and half spacing, okay, 1.5, 1.5 spacing, eh? not double spacing, okay. And just follow this flow, okay. Okay, this is a submission, eh? 9th June. Okay. And the rest you can read. And please include this one when you submit your assignment. After your, uh, before your table of contents, please include this one. Okay. And compile into PDF. Okay. Uh, your marks will, will be based on this one. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is about group assignment. And you have to present your group assignment, okay? You have to record, okay? B2B market analysis, after you've done your group project, you have to record it, your group presentation. I think you know about this one, okay? You can use PowerPoint or any other rele relevant presentation software. There are so many softwares, for example, nowadays you can use even uh, Canva, you can use the, you know, uh, Potun and so on, okay? You have to prepare a recorded presentation by using any edit, video editing or screen recording software, okay, based on your first assignment, which is group, okay, record, and group leader must upload the pitching video on YouTube and submit the link in the UEM online learning. It's mean 
you have to provide the link of the YouTube. Okay, upload in YouTube. Okay, and provide the link. You just copy and paste in one page. Okay, in one page. First page, you just put your group member's name. Okay, then you provide the link of the your presentation and make it into PDF and upload in online learning. Then I will download that PDF and I can link. Sorry, I can click the link. That's it. Very simple. Okay. Okay. And remember, each team members should contribute equally. Okay. Don't let only your group leader present the whole presentation and upload the video. No. All of you are required to equally contribute to the presentation. Okay. So this is uh, 16 June. Your submission of the presentation. Okay. Okay, the rest. Okay. So when you submit your PDF version with the, your name and the link, you have to include this one as well. Okay, please do not forget to include this one. This is your criteria. Okay, marking criteria. Okay, uh, one more thing, uh, when you do a presentation, uh, please do not include your email ID, uh, your phone number in your presentation because you are going to upload in YouTube, so it's going to be public, but you can put in a private link as well in your YouTube, no need to put in a public link. Uh, anyway, uh, my strong advice is do not put or do not include your email ID or mobile phone number in any slide. Please avoid that. Okay. Um, your group assignment and presentation based on your group assignment and followed by individual assignment. This is purely individual. Okay, no group. This assignment is B2C, business to consumer. It means you have to run a real business, okay? Then you have to report it according to the requirement in this assignment. The assignment is so simple. You are required to sell something on online, okay? It's your choice, okay? This assignment aims to provide an understanding and practical knowledge of the digital business in Malaysia. So you have to know the in real, okay, in reality, what happening in the online business. Okay. So students are required to create a B2C sales platform. So you can use any B2C sales platform, Lazada, Shopee, Muda, Lelong, Zalora, Carousel, eBay, whatever platform you and more than this, you know, there are so many platforms. Now, the latest one, I have attended one uh, uh, seminar, uh, Shopping Mo, I think. The latest one, uh, it was, I attended one seminar by MDAC and through the MDAC, they explain, okay, explain the new platform, Shopping Mo, I think, if I'm not mistaken. You can go over there also, no problem, it's up to you. If you feel Shopee is convenient, you can go Shopee. If you don't, if you want to go for the other thing, you can go. Okay. So, you have to create a seller account. Okay. It's not a big deal. Okay. And I was informed, uh, Carousel, there are some platform, I don't want to mention which platform, but some platform, there are some issues. For example, you know, uh, spam, you know, scammers and so on. So, try to avoid that one. Okay. You just need to create a, you know, a simple uh, platform. Shopee. Shopee is the most trust and Lazada and Muda. Okay. Okay. And for this is first task you have to create. And before that, you have to choose one product. And your product not related to your group assignment. Eh? This is your individual assignment, any product. And for the product, you can uh, sell the product. Maybe you, your father is, is doing a business. Maybe you want to take the product from your father and you want to make it into, you know, make it that business in online. Okay. Or your friend is doing drop shipping. You can take that drop shipping. Or now you are doing a business before the class also you have done, you know, you have conducted, uh, you have uh, run a business. 
for example since last semester you have uh, you have started your business so you can continue that business for this assignment you don't need to create a new business okay so choice is yours product you can choose okay it can be any method drop shipping okay or affiliate business or direct selling or you want to be a reseller for example you can get from your uncle your father your friend and you uh, try to sell that product through online that's it okay and first you have to do this one okay second you have to create your own social commerce platform it can be instagram or facebook whatever is it you can use the facebook instagram whatsapp business whatever is it you can use by at least one okay if let's say if you want to go more than one social commerce platform you can go no problem okay uh, choose only one after creating b2c b b2 sorry b2c sales platform and social commerce two tasks eh? you are advised to delete both account except those who want to continue business through b2c and social commerce this it's mean maybe after the class for example maybe uh, i think after june or july or after submission of your assignment you want to delete the account okay of b2c platform because you don't want to continue that business you can delete that uh, page okay you can delete that page and also you can delete your social commerce page if let's say someone let's say mr ali okay let's say mr ali or kyong whatever whoever is it he want to continue that business because he feel oh my business is doing good i just want to continue even though i have done my assignment no problem you, you can continue because it's your personal effort okay so you can go to the uh, lazada you know uh, like lazada you can go to lazada uh, like this if you want to sell in lazada you can click you know sell on lazada that's it you can create an account okay you can create an account or if you want to let's say you want to go for shopee if you want to sell in lazada you can click that this one seller center click i have one account but i don't sell anything but uh, something like this then you can add your product uh, add new product okay it's very simple you can add your product uh, let's say your product is a uh, cloth women cloth uh, maybe skirt jeans dress or whatever is it okay uh, so you can choose okay maybe others then let's say skirt you are you are selling a skirt okay next okay you have to product input okay uh, let's say a uh, children skirt let's say very simple oh sorry okay oops okay. you can click next so product name you can put you know 14 to 120 okay your product title to short please input at least 20 okay uh, for four to five yes kids so depend on you okay then you can add the photo very simple okay uh, this is you have to learn by yourself okay so basically you have to do this is one of the example lazada okay there are lazada university you know lazada university shopping uh, shopping seller center then you can go there and you can create account same goes to carousel uh ebay and so on but better try to avoid ebay okay okay so you have to create a something like this a page okay so what you have to include in your assignment very simple what you have to do is write about yourself and why you should venture into an online business just write about yourself a little bit okay and your business okay uh, this one first write about yourself and why you want to sell through online okay maybe you want to sell online is uh, you know 24 uh, times 7 day sales anytime you can do business whatever benefit that you have you feel you can include in your assignment you can include 
okay and business portfolio uh, explain about your business what is your product and why you want to sell this product uh, that is most important and you have to do something like this print screen print screen your electronic selling process for example let's say uh, you are selling through lazada so you have to put a print screen of your product in the lazada how you put in your lazada page depend on you you can put in the step wise one by one okay uh, add next add something like that or you just want to put you know your lazada business page and you want to show that is your business page and how you had in a simple way okay and let's say your customer order your item okay you have to print screen also that is most important and other relevant information from the marketplace dashboard uh, if you go to the dashboard uh, for example you can check the sales how many sales everything you can include it depend on you okay whatever necessary information you can put over there okay that is from the b2c b b2c page okay followed by social media promotion page okay for example uh, social media promotion page okay you are using facebook so you have to include the facebook maybe you are promoting your product through the poster you are using you know uh, maybe soft sales teaser and so on uh, you have to include all the posters over there okay that is the thing all print screen you don't need to write a story here yeah? story only 1.0 and 2.0 only 3.0 and 4.0 only picture picture with a caption that's it there is no big deal okay uh, something like this okay i can show to you uh, for example my uh, another class not e-commerce another class they are doing the similar assignment but they are not selling through the b2c platform they just use the facebook okay for example uh, maybe okay like this okay you see how they report it online business plan uh, they report like this okay so you see uh, this one just facebook business page address business instagram okay sales promotion they're doing uh, their sales promotion even you can do sales promotion in the shopee but you have to pay that one okay no need to do no need to do that one but Instagram, Facebook, it's free. But there are some one, there are some uh, um, some method you have to pay in the Facebook or Instagram. But no need to spend money for this one. Okay. You see all the pictures. Okay. Ah, you see the customers uh, testimonial. Okay. Instagram hard sell and so on. You see. Okay, Facebook soft sell and so on. Okay, uh, marketplace. So, uh, no need to explain like this. This is unwanted thing. Okay, just put the caption. Okay. And they put, you know, uh, this is a website. I don't know whether it's a... Uh, hold on. Okay, good. Put it this way. So, you are required to do two things. Okay, one is print screen of uh, your electronic commerce marketplace and also print screen of the social media promotion page. That's it. Okay. So, you can refer to this uh, assignment. Okay. This one okay assignment specification okay the project should be neatly typed okay this one you can read and written in english okay and there is an additional thing you have to include in your report okay additional is you have to go to mdec platform okay mdec platform which is go commerce e-commerce portal 
I get to learn more about digital business. If you go to Go Commerce, uh, Go e-commerce portal, you can learn a lot of things. You know that is a uh, that <clears throat> the Go Go e-commerce portal is a free platform to learn about digital marketing. Okay, you can go there. Okay, and also I put, I know I include as well guideline. Okay. You can go there, and what you have to do is, okay. There are two things you have to do in Go e-commerce portal. First is you have to go to Go e-commerce portal and learn about digital business and digital, uh, sorry, digital business and digital marketing. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah. Let me edit. Okay. Digital marketing, first criteria, you have to go and learn. Okay. Then you have to record your sales. Record your sales. Okay. Just one minute. Oh, no wonder marketing is here. Okay. Yes. Two things, eh? record your sales. How to record your sales? Please refer to the appendix one. This is appendix one. Okay, I have included uh, appendix one. Please see that one. Okay, and students also advise to include appendix two and three, which is rubric. Okay, based on the rubric, I will give you a mark for this assignment. Okay, you have to include that one. Uh, this one you can scroll down here on uh, this one. This is appendix two and three. You have to include this one in your report as well. Okay. Okay. Something like this. You see, they put uh, this is uh, you know first page with the name and so on, and the table of content and followed by the rubric. Uh, you have to use the similar method. Okay. Okay, so clear about this one. Okay, let me little let me clearly explain how to use uh, Go e-commerce portal. Even though I included um, the manual to record your sale, but let me explain a little, little bit. Okay, about this one. Okay, what you have to do is you go to Google, just type Go e-commerce portal and click the first page. Then you will be directed to here. Sorry, before that. Okay. Ah, you will go to this website. So what you have to do is, if let's say you already have an account of this one, you don't need to register. If you don't have any account, what you have to do is register your account here. Okay, as usual, register your account here. Let's say uh, international student passport number. Okay, Malaysian new identity card number. Okay. So this one, uh, one of the my ex student account. So I have uh, requested to her to use this account. Okay. So I log in. For the first time you log in, maybe uh, quite different. This one is established account okay long time ready it's almost uh, one year back i think this account okay okay there are three columns over here okay first is i i don't know what happened to this uh, column doesn't work Okay, never mind. The most important is this one and this one. First of all, uh, if you want to learn about, you know, online learning, you click here. Okay, open a link in new tab. So this is a portal. My learning portal. Okay. So you can click my learning portal, my business, my profile and my notification. Not, not a big deal. Only four buttons. If you click home, it will go, go back to home. 
Home is the similar one. The three uh, big boxes. Okay, first, uh, if you click this one, it will go, go to UEM Online Learning. If you click this one, it will go to the My Business. Okay, anyway, I will move to this one first. Learn Online, click. Okay, so you will direct it to this page. If let's say you want to know about Shopee, uh, you, go, you can go here. You can click the Shopee University, then there is a video. Uh, you can click to join. Let's say you want to know about the Mulakan business. If you want in English, you can change into English, you know. Uh, I'm not sure whether I can change here or not. Uh, language. I can change to, oh my God, this one in English. Okay, my learning. Okay, Shopee University. I did some tutorial in, uh, okay. Shopee University. I click this one. It will go to Seller Education Hub. Ah, so it will go to uh, Shopee. Okay. So you can learn, or if let's say you want to back, you just click back, or you can click dashboard. Ah, this one. Oh, sorry. Categories. Or, or what, what you can do is just click My Learning. It will back to the main page. Okay. Then you can go to the whatever you want to learn. E-marketplace, website, Instagram, Facebook, how to do Facebook, mobile application and so on. I cannot explain one by one, but uh, you can go one by one and learn. Okay. For example, let's say you want to know about uh, Facebook. You can click Facebook. So... There are some uh, trainings, but some are not available. Maybe you can try. Okay, for example, advertising format and placement. Okay, I accept this one and join. Uh, so, uh, so there are some materials over here you can learn. Okay, so uh, you see, there are some qu quizzes and so on. This one. Uh, this is a te take a test. If you want to read, uh, watch a video, read that book uh, over here. You can read the book, ebook. Click this one. So ebook is here. Okay, click here, and it will move to second page. So you know how to do advertising. So everything is here. So if you want to back, just click this button. Okay, so same goes to all the materials that available over here. Okay, sales marketing, cross-border and so on. Okay, it's up to you. How do you want to learn? Okay, the most important is after you uh, go to this one, try to learn from this portal. And also, first you update your My Profile. Okay, My Profile. Uh, this one is an example. You update your profile accordingly. Okay, you update your profile accordingly. And when you want to choose your lecturer name, please choose my name. Okay. For example, I click edit. So you can choose your subject, everything. Then you can choose your lecturer name over here. Uh, this one. There are few lecturers you can choose. But I'm your lecturer, so you can choose my name over here. Okay. Okay, like this. Okay, then save. Go here and submit. Okay. First is update your 
profile. Okay. And another one, the beauty of this one is, if let's say you have completed, uh, have completed seven E USA one chapters on Malaysian Digital Academy before, and uh, this one is a certificate. Okay. Uh, so you can click the certificate and you can get it. You have to do uh, certain trainings. Okay. Uh, Okay, so once you have this one, uh, personal profile you have to update and second one is a business profile you have to update as well. Okay, what is your business name? You don't need to register your business under SSM. Okay, under business re registration, you don't need to register, but just create your company name. Okay, dummy company name, enterprise and so on. That's it. Okay, everything, your bis Instagram business page, your business website, everything you update if you do have it. Okay. And followed by, okay, this is my business. My profile, you update, personal profile and business profile. <laughs> After that, you have to do one important thing, which is you have to record your sales. You click, after you update, you click there, my business. So, your company name will appear here. But before that, you have to update your My Profile. Okay, then what you have to do is you have to update your sales. How to update your sales? Report your sales over here. You can click here also. No problem. Report your sales. Or you can scroll down and you can put Add Sales. Okay, let's say your sales is offline or online. Okay, online. Okay, from where you get it? Maybe Shopee. Okay, of course Shopee. Or sometimes, you know, some people buy from the Facebook. Okay, and then date. Okay, fill the amount. I don't want you every day record the sales. Maybe you can record the sales monthly. Okay, monthly sales. Maybe May, sorry, April, May and June. Only three months sales. You just include that one. Sales. Okay, this is sales. This is expenses. Okay, expenses. Uh, this one, you know how to record. Okay, once you click this one and you submit. Click submit and submit. And the next month you want to record the sales, uh, you key in again. Then you can see this one. Uh, for example, uh, last 2020, I think. Okay, December. Uh, I can view the sales of this person. I see. The sales of the December uh, for this person. Okay. Uh, 20 ringgit. So total profit 20 ringgit. Uh, you see. So I can get it. Maybe November I can get it. View. So view. I can get it. Monthly performance, yearly performance. Okay. October. So you can check this one. Yeah, very simple. So once you do this one, you have to include in your report. Print screen and include as a uh, one of the point in your assignment. Very important. Okay. Uh, how to include? Uh, you can check my assignment, you know, one of the example assignment. They include like this. For example, this student uh, they include in the assignment something like this. Ah, see, April sales. Okay, the print screen, May sales and June sales. Uh, they include like this. You can use the same approach. Okay. So that is your individual assignment. So, it's very clear about your assignment. Three assignments. Group project, B2B. And you have to prepare a presentation. And you have to do individual assignment. Very clear. Okay, very clear. <clears throat> If you do have any question, you may ask in the class.